Moving on from that one, I want to quickly mention and talk about George Flippin Santos, who's just been expelled from the house <laughs> over criminal charges. Like, it's been a long overdue. I feel like every other day I was hearing his name in the press about whatever misgiving that he did and him talking to the press weird and, you know, walking up and down the flipping corridors of the house like a fucking supermodel, right? Swinging his hips from left to right. Always wearing, for some reason, he always wears clothes that don't seem to fit. He's a bigger dude and he has really tight jumpers, really tight blazers, fat all over the place. Like it's a strange type of guy when he kind of puts himself together. But anyway, I just like him personally as a person. Oh yeah, personally, I like him because I feel like he's a representation of the American dream. He is what the American dream is, right? First of all, he's an immigrant. And second of all, he, you know, basically achieved, you know, something far outside of his probably iq level or his like you know intelligence or his smarts whatever it may be he was able to achieve way more than he was probably <laughs> deserving to achieve that ability to get more out of life than what your actual talents are i think is probably the american dream like be able to get away with things and still be able to make money is definitely part of it and it's really interesting because he's been expelled over criminal charges right so i think he's gonna get charged i think next year or something but look at this other headline courtesy of variety George Santos movie in the works with HBO films. So even though he's in real big trouble, he's been booed out of the house, right? He's essentially been stripped of his ability to be a fucking politician. They're working on a fucking movie, a series, a film, whatever, something with fucking HBO. If that's not proof that he is the, he is the American dream, I don't know what is. And it kind of proves that in the States, maybe different to the UK, you can really get away with being a piece of shit it's kind of rewarded. I don't think you can get away with it a lot in the UK. Like there's really a ceiling with how much a piece of shit can do. But I think in America, you have an appreciation for a piece of shit. And I think maybe there is an ability for you guys to, I feel like American people have, and they, they have a, you have an appreciation for the good parts of a piece of shit. Like that's why some people, some Americans are willing to even entertain the idea of Donald Trump president presidency again right which probably he will end up winning by a landslide i think so most likely if he runs again against joe biden he'll win that presidency easy with his fucking eyes closed but i think the reason why you appreciate that is because i think you all are very aware of how much of a piece of shit you all are individually you know i think english people or european people we have this idea that we're better right? that we're kind of um that we yeah we're better we feel like we're smarter uh, and we don't really see the piece of shitness that we have in ourselves we don't really see it or we can point in other people but we don't really see it in ourselves i think there's a saying in the fucking bible isn't it about like don't point out other people's errors until you get the log out of your own eye type of thing like whatever it may be but i think that ability to kind of see the good in pieces of shit is definitely what allows people like george santos to despite being under criminal investigation having a trial set you know for next year for actual criminal charges for taking public fucking funds and using it to fucking plump up his face and shit he's still gonna have a series or a movie being done for him by fucking hbo it's absolutely really super super impressive so let's read the article courtesy of sky news it says here republican congressman george santos has been expelled from the u.s house representative after a fraud report sorry a fraud report after a report found overwhelming evidence that he misused campaign donations this should be one of the most egregious things any public you know any fucking um politician could do really that should be like a crime that should definitely get you prison time right if you misuse public funds or you misuse sorry campaign funds meant to basically serve the public and you use it for your own gain that should be instant prison time right you shouldn't be able to be celebrated and lauded and made hbo films about but he's fucking winning so let's see what how he's winning here mr santos was ousted 311 to 114 in a bipartisan vote only the six time a member has been kicked out of the house of commons since it was founded he's only the sixth person so all of the pieces of shit in you know all the you know most politicians are fucking pieces of shit anyway for all the pieces of shit that exist there he's only the sixth bloody hell so he must have done a lot of bad shit two-thirds of the members must support the move but a damning report by the house commons committee that accused him of breaking federal law appeared to seal his faith he's 35 years old oh my god yo he has lived a life in it he's 35 with all this work done but he still looks like that that's a f i've always wondered people that do like people that have like a lot of work done but then they're also super fat 
Like I've I've, n- I've never understood the, the like the logic in it. Like surely you'd want to give yourself every ability, every chance to look as hot and as good looking and as snatched as you could. Do as much as you can yourself to get rid of some of the baby fat, the extra fat, whatever it may be. You know, tone this up, get this where where it needs to be, and then you do the extra. You know, you get underneath the knife to fix up all the things that you can't fix up yourself. But why would you be morbidly obese and then get fucking lip fillers and then get fucking Botox? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense, really. It's a bit odd. And again, he's 35. Look what he looks like. It's fucking crazy, really, to be fair. That is a really, that isn't, and again, he could be even lying. You could, he, there's, there's a possibility that he's lying about his age. Like he could definitely be way older than 35. So I've spoken at the recent, um, speaking the evening before the vote, he said, the people of the third district of New York sent me here. If they want me out, you're going to have to go and silence those people and go take the hard vote. Mr. Santo argued that he set a precedent that would make the expulsion more common. Three previous cases involved disloyalty for the union, including the American Civil War, and the remaining two were politicians were convicted of federal crimes. A congressional investigation found that he charged his campaign account nearly 4000 for spa treatments, including Botox. <laughs> this guy is too much bro he charged his account, campaign account for spa treatments he also spent more than four thousand at designer stores in hermes um, hermes and made smaller purchases from an only fan site best known for sexual content oh my god he purchased only fans stuff using campaign donations no fucking way as the outcome of the Friday's vote became clear, Mr. Santos put his coat over his shoulders, shook hands with some of the members who voted against expulsion and ex- exited the chamber. The House Speaker, Mike Justice, he didn't have nothing to say, did he? Mike Justice solemnly, solemnly instructed a clerk to inform New York's governor his seat was now vacant. Mr. Santos was in the first term and had been provisionally fettered as an exciting prospect after he flipped the district from the Democrats in November 2022. So he started off amazing, right? He flipped a district that was usually democrat into being republican and then he still fucked it up so he actually had some stuff about him that people kind of believed in but he then just started pissing in their mouths literally but the committee launched a probe in march after reports that he lied about a jewish <laughs> he lied about being jewish jewish ancestry and that his grandparents fleeing the nazis working as the best <laughs> nah this guy's this guy's brendan schub levels he lied about being jewish he lied about his parents fleeing the Nazis and also he lied about working at Goldman Sachs and his college degree. That sounds like a standard thing though. We all lie about that, don't we? Don't we lie about that during our interviews and stuff? Our job interviews, our first dates. <laughs> don't we all lie about that sort of stuff? Yeah, babe. Yeah, you know, I did this, I did that. <laughs> yeah, I've got this experience here. You know, we all lie about these things. God almighty, bro. How'd you lie about working in Goldman Sachs though? How do you get away with that kind of lie? Do I wonder in America if they don't? Because in the UK, you definitely if you apply for a job and you put some experience down on your fucking list, they're definitely going to call for a reference. I don't know if they do that in all places, but in the UK, they definitely call at least one. They won't call maybe all your references, but they'll definitely call one. So putting Goldman Sachs on there is a really big risk, unless you've got a friend that can, you know, pretend like they're a Goldman Sachs HR person. I don't know. That's a big risk, boy. It lasted eight months and found that overwhelming evidence of the law breaking and Mr. Santos has now admitted to making up much of his biography. Look at him in the fucking house with that. What's that lady? I forgot the lady that does CrossFit, right? The laughing there, like <laughs> living the life, bro. Pissing off people and living the fucking life. I fucking love it. Um, the US Attorney's Office ad- indicted him in May, accusing him of cheating donors and laundering campaign funds for his own personal use and lying to Congress. It alleged that, the stole, um, that he stole donors donors oh my god it alleges that he stole donors identities and used their credit cards to make tens of thousands in unauthorized charges so not only is he stealing campaign funds he's also stealing their dl's and their car details to fucking purchase like, honestly this guy's too much it's one thing to take to like use your company card right fair enough use your company card to maybe i don't know to get yourself a fucking steak dinner every fucking day it's risky because you can still get sacked for gross misconduct but i kind of get it but then stealing customers details to do that is insane <laughs> he's a real criminal for real 
Mr. Santos has pleaded not guilty to, of course he did, to the criminal charges and his trial is set to be scheduled for September 2024. Bloody hell. Long time. So in between that, he's going to be absolutely killing it, right? He's going to be doing films, podcast appearances. Mr. Santos is not a victim. He is a perpetrator of a massive fraud um, of, his of his constituents sorry, and the American people, says Suzanne Wilde, a top Democrat. The last person to be kicked out of the House of Commons um, oh, sorry, of the House was Democrat James uh, Trafficant or Trafficant over a criminal co corruption conviction in 2022 or 2002. New York State Governor Kathy Hochul now has 10 days to call a special election for Mr. Santos' seat. This guy is an absolute wild boy. Wild fucking boy. And then, of course, let's go to the fucking variety article here about his movie with HBO. So, all of that stuff is being said, right? Seeing people's details, he's still going to have a movie with HBO. So, a movie about George Santos is in the works with HBO Films. HBO Films has optioned the rights to Mark um, Truzino's book, The Fabulist, The Lying, Hustling, Grifting, Stealing, and Very American Legend of George Santos. Oh, that's a fucking brilliant book title, isn't it? The Fabulist, The Lying, Hustling, Grifting, Stealing, and Very American Legend of George Santos. That's a fucking brilliant title. I have to definitely pick that up, which was published on November 28th. The film comes from the Frank Rick, who executive produced the HBO series Veep and Succession. Wow. Um, Mike Makowski, Bad Education, is set to write, rewrite, uh, write the screenplay for the George Santos movie, which will also executive produce with Rich. Um, Trezina will serve as a consultant producer. The film is described as a forensic and darkly comic um, at the unprecedented congressional race in Long Island, NY, and led to Santos being elected for Congress. Per the official logline, the film tells the story of a seemingly minor local race that wound up in a battle of the soul of Long Island and, expected, and unexpectedly carved the path of the world's most famous and now disgraced congressman. The Gatsby X journey, they're calling him Gatsby. He's nothing like fucking Gatsby. Come on, fuck off. I love that fucking book. Um, the Gatsby S journey of a man who's nowhere, who from nowhere, who exploited the system, waged war on the truth, and swindled one of the wealthiest districts in the country to achieve his American dream. The movie announcement comes on the heels of Santos being expelled from Congress on Friday after ethics violations, making him the sixth U.S. House member in history to be expelled. Deadline was first to report this news. Crazy, bro. He's actually going to have a movie based on his life already being put out there. But it makes sense, though, because his story is fucking wild. Some of the lies are absolutely insane. I think there was one story I remember reading about him where he, um, what did he do? I think he stole money from some, like, guy, some dog chariot or something. Like, it was fucking insane. Really corrupt and horrible shit. But again, big up George Santos. He is the living embodiment of the American dream. You know, he got the most out of life with having zero talent and being an absolute grifter and a criminal and now he's having a movie option for him and most likely if he's lucky i could see a reality a scenario where he doesn't end up spending a minute in prison he could actually get away with it he could actually have a plea deal confess to his crime something along those lines work out some sort of option some sort of deal that allows him to not spend a single minute in the prison cell i could see that happening he could actually skate away from it he'll end up doing fucking dancing with the stars and shit he might end up on I don't know some reality TV show or some or maybe have his own reality TV show and go from there. Honestly, he might actually get away with it. Exactly, Chili Bay is a true American dream. But yeah, um, what a fucking what a hero, what an absolute hero. Big up fucking George Santos.